see. Uh, I was uh, I was born in Illinois, moved to Michigan, and then uh, went to New Hampshire after that in my childhood. <laughs> hey, Seth, if you've been kicked out that many steps, your voice is too nasal. <laughs> 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 Here's a tip for jokes, if you are doing a little bit of a setup, I'll have to play it a bit and then really nasal up the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> I joined SNL in 2001 because they were looking to balance out the cast members who could play more than zero characters. <laughs> <laughs> My brother was on Mad TV. He, hey, hey Josh, you're exactly the same as me. I was on both shows. I hosted the Emmys. They're an award show for TV. <laughs> I hosted the White the, the White House Correspondence Dinner once. Hey Seth! Obama laughed a little bit. Really? Really. I got my own late night show in 2014 uh, because uh, Jimmy Fallon needed a break from sucking Lord Michael's dick. Thank you, I'm Seth Meyers! Well, as many of you already know, I'm dead now. <laughs> Happy? <laughs> a lot of you said that when I was alive that I was a really bad guy. That was a real piece of shit. <laughs> you know, I don't agree. I think I was great. But just in case, right before I die, I beg God for forgiveness. <laughs> so I went straight to heaven. And it was great for like the first couple of days. But it didn't take me long to get real pissed off at the local city council and all their frivolous waste. <laughs> as you know, heaven is full of these gigantic chocolate fountains everywhere. And they're awesome. <laughs> I'm the first to admit this, okay? I'm down there every night and I'm grabbing handfuls and putting some in my pocket. <laughs> it's but did you know they leave them running 24 hours a day, seven days a week? That's wasteful. <laughs> Think of the electricity and the chocolate just going right down the tube. Okay? Who do you think's paying for that? Me and you, the taxpayer. That's <laughs> All right? I'm tired of that. And I went down to the city hall and I asked them about it. And you know, nothing but dumb excuses from these people. They said, Rob, you don't get it. The chocolate doesn't run out here and we don't use electricity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never in the benevolent love of God. <laughs> Bunch of socialist bullshit. <laughs> they don't even want subways up there. They say we can't dig under the clouds because there's nothing underneath. <laughs> Communists. <laughs> and there's no crack. <laughs> Not even on holidays. <laughs> you think they put that in the Bible? <laughs> so I got kicked out of heaven. Because <laughs> I puked on a bunch of angels. <laughs> So I'm back, I'm back in Toronto living with Dougie, my brother. Yeah, that's okay. They say I can't move back home because I scare the kids. <laughs> Bullshit. Because I always scared the kids. <laughs> I mean, I did my best. It didn't matter what. When I came home late at night, if they were in bed, I'd sneak in every night, kiss them on their little heads. Little sweet faces. Right? I didn't, even if it was four in the morning and I was on like a roller coaster of a stupor, <laughs> like crystal meth and elephant tranquilizer, I would get in there and I'd kiss them on their little faces. So I don't know what the hell they're scared about. Anyways, I really love this city. <laughs> Chips. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. That's what
there for? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Did you say something? <laughs> oh, hey, it's uh, thanks for being on the show. We're really happy to have you here. I'm very happy to be here, you know? I get up with Doug all day is not fun. <laughs> yeah, I get that I know what it's like to have a brother. <laughs> you do, eh? Yep. That's I don't it. know much about your family life. You just seem like a smiley face that doesn't do much. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've been going through a lot of shit, right? I sure. just came back from heaven. <laughs> they didn't like me there. I, they hate me in Toronto. Yeah. I can't even show my face. What are you going to do to make me popular again? Well, it, uh, it was quite a coup when Jimmy Kimmel had you, so we think that we're going to have you as well, and it'll be popular for us and you. People made a lot of memes and made fun of me, though. They won't do that this time? <laughs> <laughs> and afterwards, Jimmy used clips of that for weeks to make fun of me again. <laughs> I sweat a lot naturally, and when the lights are on, that's going to happen. And are you going to show that over and over again? Why are you here if you don't want to be made fun of? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here because I care about people. Are you looking into a camera? <laughs> Uh, the mirrors. <laughs> you really like yourself. <laughs> Listen, man, you Holden? You Holden? Holden? No, my name's uh, Seth. <laughs> Where can I score? I can't go out there straight, man. No, what you're talking about. No, oh, Jesus. I need some something. Some Molly, some crystal meth. Oh. What do you got? I. Uh, uh, who? Come on, you're a monster you, inside. Uh, There's no way you're sober at home. <laughs> uh, what do you got? Uh, well, we have some uh, something to drink, maybe. Uh, there's some rum, some gin. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Okay, <laughs> you gotta take all of it. <laughs> and you're dead, right? <laughs> no, this doesn't do much. <laughs> That's why you need the hard stuff. So, so what's it like being dead? Okay, I can talk that, about that. That's something that. we can talk about on the show. So, most people think when you die, you see the, the, the light at the end of yeah, the tunnel. that's what I was always told. Complete bullshit. Okay? It's actually the opposite of that. Okay, it's so a yeah, very dark, dark spot at the end of a very short tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just have to remember it. Okay, so. Then you get to heaven, and it's right? light all around the outside? Just dark in the middle? Just dark in the middle. Dark spot in the middle. And it's a very short hallway. <laughs> okay, then you're in heaven. Then you're just in heaven, in the check-in area. <laughs> that's where St. Peter is, I imagine. That's when St. Peter is, yeah, yeah, that's where he is. He's, uh, he's there at the desk, and you've got to wait in the chair. And there's magazines. <laughs> you can go through them. They're usually just like old McLean's. <laughs> I'm not from Canada, but it's one of my favorite magazines. Yeah. They send them there for free. They don't even have them. <laughs> anyway, so I go through the whole process. I bullshit my way in the door. Uh, I tell them I'm a great guy. And, uh, you know, at the first Christmas party, is what, which is what they just call parties there. <laughs> Super fucked up. I puke on like three angels and everybody's upset. Really? So upset. Really? So then they send me back down to earth. Sorry to hear that. But yeah. we're glad to have you here on the show. <laughs> in the warm up dressing room. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm great. I'm never off. No, <laughs> How did you grow up? Well, a few places. I. Uh, <laughs> Born in Evanston, Illinois, uh, uh, near Chicago, the sister city of Toronto, where you're from. It sounds like you're just a guy who read a Wikipedia best. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.